Church, praise God. Yes. Thank you very much. In church, is not a place of sorrow. In church, is not a church, a place to be sorrowful. That's why David said, I'm happy when they told me, let's go in the house of the Lord. Say amen. So when you come in the house of the Lord, we must have happiness in front of God. For us who are uh, under slaves, and then we are saved by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus has given us freedom. That's what we have gotten. But Jesus has brought us back. So when you come to the house of the Lord, don't be a, a someone who is sorrowful. But you must show happiness on your face. Say amen if you love Jesus. Uh, we, uh, he preparing your heart at this place right here. There might be maybe feeling something in you that's wrong. But I'm trying to bring your heart right here. So you can be able to hear the purpose of God today. Yesterday we heard many things. We were taught about the work of the Holy Spirit. We were taught about the promise that God has given us. And the pastor has taught us a lot of things. The singers uh, sang many things. But today we come to put more on it. So we can be more full. Isn't that right? You know, for those who has, uh, came before us at the day of the Pentecost, it was a day they were very happy. It was a day where they brought many things to the Lord. For what God had blessed them, they brought to God. So the day of the Pentecost that we celebrate is one of the celebrations that God gave to a human. And if, we, and if God gave a human this day of the Pentecost, it was, it was a plan of God. It was a plan of God so he can show why he's in the spirit. So it can be completed uh, when you come to the flesh. We have heard that Israel were uh, harvesting their wherever they had planted. Uh, they had many farms with a lot of animals. Uh, in their firstborn, they will bring a gift to the Lord. So God can bless them more and more. That's why are you, is that what you're doing today? Today is very sorrowful for the church of the Lord. When we was in Africa, we cried a lot. A lot of kind of painful. All kind of uh, sorrow. And many said, Lord, when you bless me, I will give uh, the first things I will give to you. But God has, has blessed us. We are in America. The surprising thing is that in the blessing that God has given us, uh, we should look those that are not worthy. That's what we're giving to God. But I want, I want to tell you today that the things you give, the offering you give, the other things you give to God, it says in front of God. Uh, like Abel or Abel. 
his offering was able to be accepted in front of God. And then God did not take Cain's offering. That's because God had the faith of Abel. He saw the faith in him. And when Cain killed Abel, because of his offering of being good in front of God, and he saw him in the truth, and he gave him in his whole heart. The Bible says, when Cain killed Abel, and when Abel, the blood of Abel kept crying in the, in the, in the tabernacle. Amen. Amen. Our offering says in front of God. That's why yesterday's preacher said there was somebody who was sick and then God sent a prophet and that prophet wanted to tell him about his household that your son is going to die. But there is uh, faith in it. And he told God I know he wants to die. But remember remember I worked for you uh, in your house. I worked for you in your, in your church. Praise God. What are you going to remind God with? Israel people brought uh, the things, for the firstborn in front of God. And the, day, and the day they had prepared to offer to God, that's the day that we are calling Pentecost. Many said the celebration of the seventh day. Many say at the celebration of the fifty days. That was the celebration of giving or offering to God. Other other call a uh, celebration of uh, like sick people. All right. It was a celebration of the farmers. But today is not uh, the, the celebration of the uh, farmers. But it's a celebration of the Christians. Amen. The Bible says when people came together at the, at the Babel, they wanted to build something they can reach to God. And when they wanted to build uh, the, the thing to reach God, the Bible says in their heart, they had uh, pride. And they saw themselves that they had the strength to do more than God. That's when God came in between. Then God came in the language. People were all together in one, and then they were all separate. Those who spoke one language, they spoke different kind of languages. There was Burundi, there was Wabembe, there was, in, there was Africans. Because God came in between the languages. Amen. Because the plan of God. It was not planned to, to, to lose a humankind. Uh, they prepared day. Uh, he prepared plan. So he can bring back the humankind. The, 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 the one has separated. The one that has all different kind of language. So he can make them in one. So they can speak one language. Say amen. Let's read and we'll continue. I may even forget to read. The reader read in Acts chapter 1 verse 4 to verse 8. Let's read. Yababa. 
Yohana alibatiza kwa maji bali nini mtabatizo katika roho mtakatifu baada ya siku hizi chache sita basi walipo kutanika wakamuuliza wakisema je wana wakati huo ndipo utawarudishia Israeli mfano wao akawaambia si kazi yenu kujua nyakati wala majira baba aliyo yaweka katika mamlaka katika mamlaka yake mwenyewe lakini utapokea nguvu akiisha kuwajilia juu yenu roho mtakatifu nani mtakuwa mashahidi wangu katika Yerusalemu na katika Uyahudi wote na Samaria hata mwisho hata mwisho wa inchi Okay let's read in English Acts chapter 1 verse 4 to 8 and while staying with them he ordered them not to depart from Jerusalem but to wait for the promise of the father which he said you heard from me uh, from John ba- from John the Baptist with the water but you will be baptized with the holy spirit not many days from now So when they had come together they asked him Lord will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel he said to them it is not for you to know times or seasons that the father has fixed by his own authority but you will receive power when the holy spirit has come upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and all the end of the earth amen Acts, Acts chapter 2 verse uh, 1 to 4 When the day of the Pentecost arrived they were all together in one place and suddenly there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind and it filled the entire house where they were sitting and divided the tongues of fire appeared to them and and rested on each one of them and they were all filled with the holy spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance amen I was talking about the, the, the history of Babel. I tried to show how God separated them. I tried to show them how God came in between the languages. And when they separated, the Bible says, uh, the place went and every... Uh, tribe they had their own god they forgot the real god that created them but because our god is god of grace but because our god is god of love he tried to look for the human kind and then god prepared a day uh, the day that went in the, in the side of the people on the earth and this has become the war between um, a human kind and god uh, every, every time I, the human wants to know the the work of god all the secrets of god but we love god and he told the disciples it is now uh, for you to know but go to a place because when you see right there there will come the one who will let you guys know amen and the lord when he uh, prepared pentecost the bible s- the bible said there were many kind of tribes there uh, people who spoke many type of languages uh, people from romans people from uh, greek uh, many different places they all came together at the day of the pentecost Everyone speaking their own language. 
uh, so for you today, uh, the work of God is amazing. God has power to bring the Holy Spirit anytime. But he wanted all to come together. The way that they all had gone everywhere, everywhere he brought them together. The way that they worshipped all kind of gods. So God uh, brought all his plan together. Amen. The Bible says, when the Holy Spirit came down, and it says uh, they were filled. When they were filled, uh, the Holy Spirit came in, inside of them. Because they were inside a house. And when they were still afraid to go preach the gospel, and they still had the scaredness to go preach the word, when they were inside the house, and the Holy Spirit came down, when they were filled, when they were filled, the Bible says, when they were filled with the Holy Spirit, all the way above, when the, when the Holy Spirit starts showing, uh, they came out, the disciples came out of the house. They went to proclaim the news. They went to uh, show the God's work. That's what like Jesus told them to do. Uh, he told them to stay in Jerusalem. And when the Holy Spirit comes, you will be the uh, evidence in Judea, in Samaria. And you'll be a witnesses all the way over the world. But today is the day. Even if the Holy Spirit is here, and still the work of God is tight, God needs. You need to go. Go and proclaim the word, the word of God. Still, the, the work of God is tight. Those who need the help of God, they are outside of the church. But the church of today, we are closing ourselves in the church. All that shows that the Holy Spirit is still not have not done the work. Amen. Amen. Jesus needs to be proclaimed outside. You know, when you come in this place together, it's only see us with us. People from Roanoke, people from Richmond. I don't know how point news. Other conference, us to us. How would that gospel go all over America? We must get out where we are. Jesus told them, go and sit. I will prepare you. And after I prepare you, then we go and work. Today the work of God is being tough on us. When we want to proclaim the good news, we have many reasons. Even many do not. And when here you look, there are men of God. And you see there are singers of God. When you see there are prayer warriors. But they said they proclaim lies instead of fulfilling the word of God. When you ask, brother, why didn't you come to church today? Do you know over there at our place? Mandatory. It was mandatory. It was mandatory. That's why I wasn't there. But he's lying. He sees what's there. Uh, the, the checks that he gets in six days, the checks that he gets in seven days, and he don't want to lose it. Others say, they have a lot of bills. I must go to work. I listen, brother. When you're in Africa, who gave you food to eat? Who gave you clothes to wear? Who gave you all that? Our God is still, he is still able to do. But we are putting uh, walls between us. I know we are putting walls between us. Uh, the, Lord, the Holy Spirit has gotten out from us. 
Because Jesus said, I, I'll give you the authority. And when the Spirit comes on you guys, you will know that I am in you. If I am in the Father, and if you guys are in me, anything you ask, the Father will give it to you. Why do you pull walls? Why? Your parents. You yourself. You don't know how he was going to come to America. It was a dream. But by faith, because we depend on God, others went on their knees. And God answered. Amen. The Holy Spirit, brothers in Christ. Uh, uh, we need him. The Holy Spirit uh, is needed. Uh, you know, uh, when somebody wants to do their deals, uh, his purpose is to gain something. And if he don't gain anything, then he proposed something to start with the business. Isn't that right? Can you start a business without money? You must prepare the, the, the deposit of the money. That's how it is in our life of Christians. That's what the Holy Spirit. We must prepare it in us. Then we can do what we need to do. That is why. Jesus told them to sit in a place because they were preparing with the Holy Spirit. They stay in the time of repenting. They stay in the time of being holy. They stay in the time of praying. They stayed in a place to hear the word of God. And the, and the Holy Spirit came and sat. And when he came good in them, that's when they saw what they had to do. Do you want to know what kind of gain they gained? Do you want to know what they gained? Uh, where for Jesus? Amen. Amen. My Bible says, when Jesus died, uh, the disciples of Jesus, uh, those who walk with Jesus, those who are with Jesus, those who live, lived in Jesus, when Jesus died, uh, many others went back into fishing. Uh, men came in fear. Others did not have faith. But when the Holy Spirit came, the Bible says, uh, they, 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 they were strong, and then they went to proclaim the news, and then they came out, and then they were able to get the pen, because they were able to do it. Amen. That's when you will see uh, Peter, uh, those who were crucified on the cross. Then, then you say, Bartholomew, uh, those that will take off their skin. Because in, in them they had the work of the Holy Spirit that gave them the gain. The Bible says, uh, to, to die is gain for any kind of Christian. Amen. Uh, we have no fear to be scared. We got no fear to run, not to die. If we are working for God, then we must proclaim the good news. Amen. Amen. My Bible says, when the Holy Spirit came, because this Holy Spirit, His work, it was to teach them. It was to reveal to them. It was to give them strength. When this Holy Spirit came down, because they were already taught, and then he, he helped them. And when they went to work, uh, people, 3,000, they came to Jesus. How many have you saved? Uh, is the Holy Spirit not in you? That's why for those who have the Holy Spirit of God, they must have the, the, uh, the strength 
to serve others. Do you know the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God is like a mother who is pregnant. It's like a mother who has a pregnancy. When the mother has the pregnancy, uh, she tries to protect it. And she don't know if this is going to be uh, alive or the, the baby is going to die. Isn't that right, mothers? When the mother has a has pregnancy or has, a, has pregnant, uh, you are coming from over there. And she's coming from this way. When you guys are coming one way, what will she do? She will go beside. So she can protect what's inside the womb. Isn't that right? That's how the Holy Spirit is to us. And we must protect it. Because we need to protect it. That's what we will see the baby that we need to see. And when that mother is pregnant, when she don't know who's going to come, I might come the, the one who's dead. I might come the one who's alive. But the mother protects it. And when she has uh, the faith, saying, when I give birth, this baby, I will tell her to go fetch water. This baby, I should uh, drive the car. This baby, I should buy me a, a, a house. This baby, I uh, will help me. Uh, the mother has a lot of faith in that. If the Holy Spirit is in us, we have a lot of faith. What kind of faith are we expecting? The Bible is telling the truth. Uh, uh, in the book of Ephesians, it says that the Holy Spirit, when it's not in us, uh, when we have the Holy Spirit, we must show that we have the fruit of the Holy Spirit in us. Amen. Amen. If we were not stable, when the, when the Holy Spirit comes in us, then we are able to stand. Uh, like our husbands, like our wives, uh, when uh, they were uh, uh, oh, let's say abusing, all right? Thank you. Or they, they were bothering us in other ways. But because of the Holy Spirit that comes in our houses, then He makes them uh, to come down and obey. Do you know? Sometimes our place is not good because we do not give the place to the Holy Spirit. Others say, here I'm talking to the mothers for a little bit. This man is giving me a lot of troubles. Uh, to marry this kind of man. If I had known, I would have said yes at all. Listen. The one who is bothering you. That's the one that God wants for you to get. But God wants the Holy Spirit to come in you. So you can be able to love your husband. You know, when the Holy Spirit is not uh, created or built, and I talk then he gets out from us. Let me go back a little bit. Why do we call it Pentecost? One person can answer me. We believe in the Holy Spirit. That's one. Another one. That's it. Another one, give another answer. Can you get the Holy Spirit without believing in Jesus? Amen. 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 Uh, we are called the Pentecost. After believing in Jesus Christ, 
This, this spirit comes to us and then we agree with the work of the Holy Spirit when we are built on the, on the discipleship that they were built on Amen the Holy Spirit did not start with us and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit did not start at the days or with the but, but the, Holy, the, Holy, the Holy Spirit started at the creation time the Bible says uh, when the, world, the earth was nothing the Holy Spirit was walking out of the water and the power of the heart of God he was going here and there Amen that's why I call the, whole, the Spirit of God this Holy Spirit he did a lot of work with the prophets. This Holy Spirit. He, he did work with the kings. That is why we call it the Holy Spirit of God or the Spirit of God. Amen. When he did the work with the prophets. When he went out to work with the kings. The Spirit of God showed in the signs of oil. This was to show the power of God that was still uh, in the secret, that was not revealed to the human. God tried to use it in different kind of times, He tried to use it in different kind of people, and it was called the, the Spirit of God. This is the Spirit of God, His, he, he worked with Jesus Christ. When Jesus went on the Jordan, when he was baptized with John the Baptist, uh, the, the, the gospel says, and the, the one came from heaven, and in heaven came the Holy Spirit that came on Jesus and showed that the Holy Spirit in him. And then he came uh, in the sign of, uh, of a bird. Amen. And after, after God has ha, ha, had done with the work of the Holy Spirit, he had that Jesus had to take the lead and that he should use the Holy Spirit. That's why Jesus allowed the disciples. He told them, ah, you, must, you must use the Holy Spirit. That will be your helper. That will be your teacher. That will teach you. That will reveal to you. So you should be able to. And now to get it, you must sit in a place. Say, where are you? What kind of place are you in? Get out where you are. There are others who are sitting on witchcraft. Others are sitting on adultery. Others are sitting on fighting. But God wants. Get out where you are. Go in a different place where God wants you to be. That's why the Holy Spirit, so he can start doing work in you. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, is a gift to us. And that Spirit that we're given, we're given without any kind of price. And we're given with the Holy Spirit. Uh, without having to, for, to, to do or do anything that like must be done. But what surprising is that? Uh, many of us, uh, we want to buy the Holy Spirit. That's very sad for that. When we believe in Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit must be in us. Because when we celebrate, we don't celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit. But we celebrate uh, the coming of the Holy Spirit in us and then to do many things in us. Amen. So our Pentecost is not only today, our Pentecost is every day. Amen. We don't need to sit and wait for the Holy Spirit to come down. Because the Holy Spirit is out on the earth. And the Holy Spirit is waiting for us. So we can let him come in. 
So he can sit and he can do work in us. So our Pentecost is every day. Uh, where you are, know that you are in the Pentecost. But what's surprising, many Christians, there be uh, Christians uh, uh, who changes. There be those kind of Christians who changes. Today we are celebrating the Pentecost. But after we get up, then, the, the, then what we have received, the gospel, we take it away. Uh, the person who changes uh, is a very bad person. We think we are, we are, we are uh, jumping around with you here. That way we go to heaven. Uh, you think you are preaching to us and we are going to heaven. And, and we think you are singing for us. We are going to heaven. But when we get up from here, uh, the gospel, you throw it away. The Holy Spirit of God, when it comes in you, he does not have a place. Because the Bible says, the, the, Spirit is, the Holy Spirit is everywhere, in every place. When we are with the unbelievers, make sure the Holy Spirit is in you. When we are with the Christians, make sure the Spirit of God is in you. Amen. Amen. Uh, hello. hello, young ladies. Don't you see they are very beautiful? Are they not looking beautiful? But where when we get out? Then you find uh, they, they put the whatever red on them lips. And you find they put the back earrings on. And others are wearing uh, clothes up here. And others are wearing pants where it's ripped. Others are wearing uh, always dressed to here. So should we call, it, should we call it an, an animal, a bird, or who? Hello. Uh, do you get me well? When we have the spirit of God, we must have the work that works like a Christians. Our dressing should be pleasing to God. Amen. Amen. Uh, some uh, young lady say I'm wearing a uh, short one, you know. Uh, short from here and then all the stomach is outside. The one who has uh, become a Christian, uh, uh, he shouldn't be seen with, with, the, with the house. Uh, they should be seen with their back. The one who has become Christian, I should be seen with their le half legs naked. If the spirit is in you, if the spirit is in him, I will sing like David. Amen, amen. Amen. Because I'm showing the presence of God. I'm showing the, 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 the might of God. How he's doing the God's work in me. That's what Paul said. It's not me who lives, but Christ who is in me. Amen. Amen. Yes, let's go to the young men, young boys. Young men, young boys. That's what we we'll call it, pack it down. That's what they be wearing. Eh? Pack it down. Don't you guys know it? Young men, young guys. Yeah, pants down. All right. Uh, the one who has become a Christian. He should be seen his butt outside. You who is wearing pants down. Uh, then take off the pants and go walk naked. Because you look like a naked one. We must wear properly. We must be well. The, word, the spirit of God will have a place in us. Eh, mothers, eh, today is the day. And this we heard. But we built. Amen. 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 
you know, mothers who real are Christian. Other than this Holy Spirit, they use it the way it shouldn't be used. When they are home, uh, they are different people. But when they are in church, when Jesus came, they said, today we go to heaven. Do you know when you are with the, with the father? The father likes for you to please him. The father likes for you to do good with him. But our mothers, it's not like that. Uh, there are those uh, there are those kind of groups that you put in the cabinet. You never put your husband's food down. But when the pastor comes home, when the, when the evangelist comes in, then you give that one the first food to eat. So when the world comes in your house, I'm going to say the devil who brings it is you yourself. The spirit must use us in a way that should. Uh, past, but the pastor is the one who worthy to get that one. No. Give your husband first. When you build him well. And as your uh, uh, a pastor comes in. Again, a place where there's happiness. And your husband welcome you with the happiness. Like if our church like that, uh, the mother is in between. God wants us to get out where we are. Uh, all those and be, be, these behaviors we have with our husband, God wants us to remove it. So the Holy Spirit can do work. When you look in churches, there's a lot of mothers. I ask them where the fathers. And when we talk about fathers, uh, don't be scared for them. Uh, those are unscared. In church, they show they are, they are worthy. But in their house, uh, there are people to run away from, fire to be run. Uh, it's very sad for those kind of people. Uh, fathers, are you here? I want, I want to finish. Where are the fathers? Uh, the mother is like for you to please her. It's like for you to do her the good things. When you do the good things, or how we be happy, or how we have peace. She will feel to see you every time. She will want to talk to you every time. But a lot of fathers, uh, they are controlled by anger. And that anger, I, it makes the mothers not to be able to get close to their husband. The father can come in the house. He can find the kids have left the place there. And they left the papers right there. Instead of him picking it up, I bring in a place. He will kick at that place. And he said, Who put the place right here? The Holy Spirit is the spirit of pleasing quietness. The Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit come down. We must be able people to calm down. So that's why then the Holy Spirit can be able to do the work. Brothers in Christ. The Holy Spirit that is in us is like a baby that we are having. When we carry a wrong way. When our sins get a lot. When we have a lot of uh, wrongdoing. This Holy Spirit will block the baby who are born dead. Because he don't have a place to, to get uh, bigger and bigger. Because he don't have a place to be big and strong. Uh, he, uh, he can't be big. And when he be not be big, then the Holy Spirit dies in it. Do you know? If
keys. If many keys had died, is it because they were unable to see? Because they were not focusing. And the kids who have two ears, they look like a kid with one ear. That's why John said, many of the less small kids should be killed. And a lot of young kids died. When the Holy Spirit comes in us, I can't go strong. And he will die. And when the Holy Spirit dies, instead of bringing good fruits in us, there are bad fruits that will come out from us. You find a mother who's a Christian, a father who's a Christian. In their mouth, they come out cursing. The Holy Spirit does not have a place, has died. Amen. 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 We must become Christian. We must receive the Lord. We must call the Holy Spirit. When we, when we protect the Holy Spirit, we make sure that he comes out in us when we go to see Jesus. And this becomes a lot of trouble for those who uh, became Christians or those who received Jesus. The Bible says when we receive the grace, when we believe in Jesus, the Holy Spirit comes in us and then he sits. But the surprising thing, those who have really become Christians, uh, those, who, who, those who used to be adultery, they go back to do it. If you used to be a witchcraft, he go back and start witchcrafting. If you used to be a drunkard, he goes back and sit drinking. That means the Holy Spirit has died in them. We must protect the Holy Spirit or build the Holy Spirit. And then the, the, the gospel we have is our life. We must continue to uh, obey and calm down. And God will be with us. The Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, the, the, the Holy Spirit can be tempted. I'm telling you a warning. Don't who comes with the children gather together. So you can be able to tempt them. Uh, you will get something not good. There's a day for you. The dead will stay uh, evidented. And you will not say that why is this like this? We have knowledge. But when the Spirit is tired, what does he do? Do you know there's a person who was called Simon the witch? Uh, he was a witch. Uh, he had all that kind of spirits, evil spirits, a certain spirit. All that kind of uh, evil spirit. When he said Peter, when he said those who had the Holy Spirit of God, then he was changed. When he was changed, the Bible says, because he did not give the, the, the place in the Holy Spirit, he went back and attempted the, the Peter. And he told them, Let me give you money so you can give me this spirit. Because they saw they did this, they, uh, they did miracles, they saw they was healing the sick, and the demons was running. And, and, and he tempted them, and he brought money. And he told Peter, Peter told him, because you did this, uh, you have no place in the kingdom of God. Don't tempt the Holy Spirit. And don't say we do not have knowledge. Amen. Amen. Jesus, help us. I'm talking to a person that is tempting the Holy Spirit. God says, leave it there. Leave it there. Leave it there. There's a person 
He wanted her to tempt Paul. Listen, let me tell you, brother, who are here. Uh, in the in the world workers, uh, in the mouth of Christians, uh, there is uh, authority. Uh, Paul spoke words, and then he became blind. When the Spirit of God is in us, uh, He does not have all kind of racism, all kind of choosing. He don't choose. Uh, he don't have a, a tribe because when He came down, all kind of tribes uh, they became in one, which we call it today. That is why when they were waiting for the Holy Spirit. The disciples said, Now, how we will receive it? How we will receive the Holy Spirit? When we know enough, we must talk for a person that will come in the place of Jude and the people try in a ways of loving themselves. They said this, other says this one, other one says this one. The Holy Spirit uh, does not choose size. Because he is my son. I will make him be a pastor. Huh? And when I die, he will continue to be with the church. Because he is uh, my young brother. Uh, he will be the one singing, making the songs for the choir. Uh, so he can be a conductress. Conductor. The Holy Spirit does not choose size. The Holy Spirit chose a person that he wants to choose. The one that is able, that's the one he chooses. Amen, amen. Amen. The one that is able, that's the one we must raise. A Peter and others sat down. They said, we must call God. Are there other works? Where are there other um, choosing work? That does not do for the, for, the, for the human, but only God can do. And there was a, a, a man named uh, Eusto. Uh, there was a man named uh, Matthias. The Holy Spirit chose Matthias. Amen. So we must leave those who are able. If men works of God are dying, if a lot of work of God is not going front, Many of us have the whole spirit of choosing size. A lot have the, the, the spirit of choosing size. That's what makes the, the, the church of God go back. The disciples are together in one place. They did all things together. Everything they did was together. And the one who went to go different than them, uh, he, he got something uh, not to get, something wrong. Something bad. Do you know Ananias and Sapphira? Amen. 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 Uh, they saw the farm. Everything was all together. But they tried to go different than the unity work. The Holy Spirit did something bad to them. The Holy Spirit is not tempted or can be tempted. Hello. 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 This Holy Spirit, when He sits in us, uh, He must raise the, the works of God. He must raise uh, the, the, the gifts in us. He, he must raise uh, the gifts that are in us. And when the, when the gifts raise in the church, because the devil doesn't sleep. And then all pride starts coming up from church. That's when they start coming all the tougher words that are not words. And they say, that one looks good, but I can do better. Pride. Pride comes in church. But God says, when the gifts are raised, then we must raise them. Amen. We, we must raise them. We must love it. 
Because we all who are separated, we come one nation, we speak one language, and that one language that the, 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 that the disciples spoke was love. And they were filled with spirit and the spoken tongue. That tongues to us as a Christians. We don't have a word to say many, 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 tete. But the Holy Spirit to us, He gives us a language that we call it love. Amen. Amen. That is why the church must get where it is so it can go to a place where God wants it to go to. I have a lot of things to say. But when I finish all today. So today. Today today's a day we celebrate Pentecost. The day where the, the disciples received the Holy Spirit. They were filled with the power. And they went to do God's work. If you want Jesus to fill you with the strength, so you can make a step in the work of God. So you can do more than you do. Come, let's pray. I didn't say you have sins. Because, because, because many when you say about sins, they are the ones coming from. But I'm telling you, the day of the Pentecost, the disciples sat together. When they were waiting for the Holy Spirit to come down, when they came together, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God came. And then the people said, when they knew that the Jesus who had died, I uh, will be raised. And then you see ways. If you want to have the, a new strength, come to Jesus. Welcome in front. So Jesus can give you the mighty. So you can be able to do the work of God. Uh, if you tell God, I will give you as what? I say, I will do the praying. You say, I will be a singer. You say, I will be a preacher. You say, I will be a pastor. So those work. It's going well in your life. If it's not going well, come in front. Make a step. God will help you. If we all are good, then the pastor will not get out where they are. Because we all feel the Holy Spirit. We all are good. So that's we ask we must stand and pray for those who are kneeling. Amen. If you think you are good, then you must get up and pray for those who are kneeling down. I don't know if you hear me well. There's a day where you must be. For the work of God. For the work of God. For the gifts of God. God wants again to give you more and more. Welcome if you are here. A lot of have a hard heart. That's what Jeremiah said. You should be good, O oh Lord. To give me a heart, a heart like an animal. Because the heart of an animal I has a very a uh, not strong heart. Welcome pastors to pray for them. Thank you, Jesus. We're still waiting for you if you want to come. Pastors, you are welcome to pray for them.
Mwema wenu falme Asante kwa kuwa nasi Tangia tulipofika hapa Tangia ibada alipoanza Iluka mde wa saatano Paka mda huu umekua nasi E mungu Tunakushukuru kwa kuwa Umetuwezesha katika mambo yote Iyo pita hapa mbele yetu Tunakushukuru kwa kuwa weni mwema siku zote Tunakushukuru kwa kuwa Baba Umeponya Roho za watu Umeubaba Umeponya magonjwa Roho wa katifu Baba Hame tuongoza katika yote Tunakushukuru mungu Yesu Nazareti Na mda huu Baba Tunasema baba Ibada yetu baba Imeishia hapa Baba Watu anda kwenye wapumziko Baba Ili wachiandai kwa ibada ya pili E Yesu Nazareti Tunakushukuru kwa yote Yesu tendeka Tunaomba Kwa wana taka upapa mda Kwa mingia kwenye ibada ya pili Wawezeshe uwe nao Baba tunaomba Wale wote ambao wata kuodoka Uwebe nao Ro wako mtakatifu Awatangulie Nao wafate Yesu Ro damu yako Yesu wafunike Ili waende wanapo Enda wafike salama Asante Yesu Tunamoshukuru kwa mtumishu wetu Wale tunisha neno wako Na kutunashukuru kwa mongo za ibada Tunashukuru kwa waimbaji wote Wale wote ingia nyingo za sifa na furu Na shukurani Yesu Nazareti Tuna shukuru kwa ni wote Wale chupa mda wawo kafika hapa Ndani ya nyumba yangu Sika maneno yako Yesu Christo Kuna wengi ambayo hawa kuweza Wengi ambayo wako huko mitaano Wanafanyi mambo yao Lakini sisi tuifika hapa Tunaomba utumariki Tunaomba yu katika china Yesu Christo ufalumu wetu Amen Mwana Yesu asifiwe Mwana Yesu asifiwe Nime msukuru mungu kwa sababu tumeweza kumaliza muda wetu au ibada kwa masa ambayo natakika Mwana Yesu asifiwe Mutaomba neema ya buwana Neema ya buwana wetu Yesu Kristo Na pendo la mungu Na ushirika wa roo mtakatifu Ya matane na sisote Sasa na hata milele Amen Mwana Yesu asifiwe Eee Tuna toka kidogo ili mwenye kwa nda meza ya buwana Wamalizie alafu tutawaita Na msiondoke wale ambao watuzuri pa moja Msiondoke kuna chakula baada ya meza ya buwana Mungu atubariki Amen Na wale ambao nasumbuliwa Thank you.